Hey everybody, this is my first video on the Tau. I had to take some time to read the codex again, end to end, and, and uh, come up with some opinions on it before I started um, making videos, obviously. But now I am done, and I think it's time to talk about the Tau. Yay. Here's what we're going to say about the Tau. Allies. Allies, allies, allies. That is my first and foremost advice about the Tau. And this comes from the philosophy that when an army is made, I believe that the fluff really tells you, gives you kind of secret insight into how to use the army. So you read orcs, obviously they're about charging in and getting in to the thick of things. Um, space marines are about tactical advantage and choices and, and things like that. And do you know what the Tau are about? The Tau are about cooperation. They're about everybody playing their part. Now, before allies, this was done by creating member races. Member races for the Tau. You know, you had the Vespids, you had Crute, and, and, and that's really what they did because they didn't have allies. Now, when the 6th edition came out, they then said, you know what, screw it. We don't need to do that anymore. We can just give you allies. Now, when you look at the Tau army list, they're obviously very good at one thing, shooting. <clears throat> but then they're very bad at two things. Psychic powers, obviously. No librarians or farseers in the Tau, um, Tau army. And hand-to-hand -hand combat. And then you look at their ally list and you find something very interesting. They are battle buddies with space marines one of the best hand-to-hand -hand combat units, uh, and really the only viable one for the Tau, unless you're going to talk Teos Marines or Tyranids, and the Eldar. They're battle buddies with the Eldar and Space Marines. So this basically, as a Tau player, when I started making up my army lists, um, which I'm going to go into on, on more of these videos, I found out that really there's two flavors of playing the Tau and two really very different strategies that I used in playing them. The Nids were pretty much one, but the Tau really have two. And, and that makes sense because they're very battle doctrine focused. The first is that they provide shooting support for a hand-to-hand -hand unit or, or a tougher unit that could get in the hand-to-hand, -hand, like uh, the Space Marines. And the second one that I came up with was a buffed Tau army um, by using Psychics. And the Eldar, you could just load up crazy with Psychics and add that into the Tau army and you get a crazy amount of combinations. I mean, you'll see later on. There are some fascinating combinations that you can put together between Tau and Eldar. And then you're still not losing your hand-to-hand -hand either because, you know, the Eldar have some nice hand-to-hand -hand units that you can still take. You'll, you'll still have to take... They're fine. I mean, even if you take a Seer Council with a bunch of Warlocks and everything like that, they're fine. Or an Autark or anything like that. You're getting basically somebody you can turn into a, a melee monster. But I don't like independent character monsters. I like units. And you can still do it. This is a short video because I don't want to give away too much <clears throat> about what I'll talk about later. But definitely it's going to be allies. And then you're going to pick which of the weaknesses of the Tau are you going to to fix? Either the lack of psychers or the lack of hand-to-hand -hand units. And you just go down two entirely different paths, which fits also with the book because um, you have the patient hunter and the killing blow. And then I found out, hey, this seems to strike you just just to fit in perfectly with that as well too. And for me, it seems that the killing blow is um, 
dealing with space marines, you know, they're going to be going in and, and pummeling somebody. And the patient hunter deals more with the Eldar and getting people out of harm's way. Or, but you understand what I mean. I don't think this is an accident. I've looked through a lot of the bat reps and a lot of the other review videos on the Tau. I don't see anybody else really talking about this. Um, I also found it interesting that if you go to the earlier videos, they're all going to say the Tau suck. But we won't go down there. Anyways, I'm going to focus then on those two main paths. And that will be either working with the Space Marines or working with the Eldar. And I hope people like that. So, until next time, keep breathing. <laughs>